Sometimes, Wifey Poo says, you know, I want to make my own video. And today is just one of those occasions. <laughs> to make sure that other folks had the opportunity to find some recipes that are convenient for RV campers that are easy to make that are kid tested and my husband approved <laughs> but we don't want to spend, we don't want to spend a lot of time you know cooking we want to be out you know having an adventure and enjoying the sure. nature around us and we found our first year of camping with all the rain that it was not easy to grill every time. We do love to use the grill when the weather permits it, but I wanted some recipes that if it was colder weather or raining that we could do inside quick and easy. Recipes you can find on our blog, liveandlearnrv.com, uh, a link to which is here and down in the description below, so you can find them there. I'm going to show you a couple of easy cooking or recipes that we learned during our first year of camping because it constantly rained on us. We had to come up with something else to do instead of using the grill. So of course you have the stove. We, we are lucky enough to have an oven, but I don't use it very often. I tend to use the crock pot or the stove when we can't use the grill. But I wanted to give you a couple easy recipes that you can do that with my husband that doesn't like vegetables, I had to find, you know, almost kid-friendly type meals at times but this one is actually a easy pizza quesadilla that you use with a flatbread so come along i'll show you how to make it two tablespoons of your choice of favorite pizza sauce i got this one because it was a squeeze bottle and it was easier of course i'm a righty so this is gonna Two tablespoons of Italian blend cheese on one side of the flatbread. It's almost like a pizza grilled cheese. It's a little bit healthier with the flatbread. Turkey pepperoni. You know, because after Christmas, we're trying to watch our calories. <laughs> Some more cheese. Cheese, glorious cheese. Fold in half and put it in the skillet. Preheated on a medium heat, about three to five minutes per side. You'll have to gauge it depending on your you know, range or what kind of heating system you have. And I almost forgot to cover it. Got a little well done. Cover it again. <laughs> oh, that's hot. <laughs> I'll eat it. <laughs> now you can slice it if you have a pizza cutter, which I don't have in the camper yet. <clears throat> Kind of cut it <clears throat> in wedges like pizza, or you can eat it, roll it up, however you want. And there you have a pizza quesadilla. It's actually pretty healthy for you. The flatbread is low in calories, the turkey pepperoni is less fattening than your regular pepperoni. Quick, easy meal. Yummy, 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 yummy. So, what do you think? It's pizza. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. Mmm. 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 Pizza without an oven. Yay. Another one of our favorite meals to cook while we are out camping 
is our the pot roast that I make in the crock pot. <laughs> it's one of hubby's favorites. I usually get a fairly small roast. This one's about two pounds because for one, there's only two of us and also just space in the refrigerator and we don't want to be eating on it for days and days and days. Two pound roast, I usually, whatever's on sale, I don't you know, have a preference on whether it's a rump roast or sirloin or whatever, but this one was on sale. It was about two pounds. I mix in three packets, onion soup mix, au jus gravy, and brown gravy mix with three cups of water. Mix all that in, put your roast in, pour that on top, and then you can add potatoes, carrots, or whatever vegetables that you prefer. So it's really quick, simple, easy. Cook it on low for six to seven hours. You can speed it up by cooking it on high for two and then low for three. Uh, you, or you, if you want to cook it on high, four hours. And it may just depend on your crock pot, how hot it gets, how the size of it. That may vary, so you may have to adjust it based on yours and where you live because of altitude. So here we go. <laughs> Now, since we are camping, I actually found some baby reds that were already washed. These are actually a steam in bag, but because of this, this made my life easier because normally I cut up potatoes and put them inside, but this worked out perfect for this trip. And then I'm just gonna add a couple of carrots for myself. He won't <laughs> Now just pop the lid on. Turn on low. Cook it for about six hours. Then it should be good. All right, we're back. We've been hiking. We've done some different activities today. And so let's take a look. Fork tender. Okay. Ooh, tender. Yeah, probably should have stopped a little bit sooner, but it's nice and tender. That's got all that juice inside with the potatoes and the carrots. We have a meal ready to go. I call this a win. Today we are making Lazy Day crock pot lasagna. It's a hearty meal. It's nice and cheesy and has ground beef and yummy. <laughs> so it's definitely one that will feed more than two people, but we like leftovers as far as, you know, convenience. But this is one that you can sit in the crock pot, go about your day, come back and have a nice hearty meal for supper. And it's pretty, pretty good. So here we go. We need one pound of ground beef. You're gonna brown it, drain the excess fat off, and then add some seasoning, some crushed tomatoes, and then layer in cheesy raviolis for your layers of pasta. So here we go. <laughs> All right, I browned the ground beef, drained the excess fat off of it. Now you're going to add three cans of 14 to 15 ounces of crushed tomatoes. I was unable to find three small cans, and so I got one large and one small, but that's neither here nor there. Crushed tomatoes a tablespoon of garlic salt and a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Mix all that in. Next step is to layer a little bit of sauce in the bottom of the crock pot now that you have everything mixed together just to give it a base coat. Mm 
Now you're going to use your cheese ravioli and you're going to layer those like you would, you know, lasagna noodle on top of the beef and tomato mixture. This takes a little bit of time. These are actually a lot smaller than the ones I normally purchase, but it was what I could find. Then you layer some mozzarella cheese on top of that layer of raviolis. Four cups of mozzarella cheese. Then you're going to put another layer of the tomato beef mixture on top of that and just keep building your layers until you've used all your ingredients. And then top it with the rest of the mozzarella cheese. <clears throat> now that you have all of your layers, you top everything with the remaining mozzarella cheese. You can add Parmesan cheese if you like, about a quarter cup on top, but I figure it's cheesy enough for the moment. <laughs> Put your top and your lid on. Cook it on low for four hours. Once you, your four hours is over, let it sit for 15 minutes and then you can serve. All right, we're back. We've had a long adventurous day, so we're actually eating a lot later than normal, but this is our crock pot lasagna, lazy day crock pot lasagna. Uh, it's been sitting for about 15 minutes and you just kind of slice it and serve it just like you would regular lasagna. You may have to scoop. Because of her wounded wing, I guess I have to do this part. <laughs> Thank you, honey. He's been doing the dishes too. Ah, that's a good start. Come back for more later. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have a Caesar salad to go with it. We're not completely pigs. <laughs> Unhealthy pigs. I hope you enjoy making some of these yourself. And if you have any that you want to share, please. I love trying new recipes. It, but remember, this guy doesn't eat a lot of vegetables. Leave us any thoughts, comments, ideas. And, and remember, recipes in the on our blog, livinglearnrv.com. Link to which down below in the description and, and right here. Mm -hmm. And I guess until we next see you. Keep living and learning. She says it so much better than I do. I just kind of let her do it.